a few years later, um, the bottom fell out of the economy. I lost my job. We were homeless for six months. I didn't know what to do. The Pacifica Resource Center put us in housing that week. I was in temporary housing for six months. I made a point to move back here because of all the support that I received as a single mother. It's not enough to just have great schools if kids arrive hungry. It's not enough to just have great schools if kids arrive out of a stressful household because parents can't, don't know where their next meal is coming from. It's all about service, complete services. Susan Manheimer was here and her, her program was very well received and it was all about the services that this measure would pay for. Um, I am one of those poor people that he's talking about. I have three kids, one with special needs, and my income is the only income that supports this. I am going to get tagged heavily on this. We have four cell phones in my house and one landline. You can't have teenagers on a cell phone. I need to know where they are every minute. Um, and, you know, I am willing to make the sacrifice out of my own paycheck that I live check to check, but I'm willing to pay that $12 a month. Because right now I'm paying $6 a month to watch TV. I can pay the $12 a month to make sure that my kids live in a safe city, that they have things to do after school, that there's a library, that there is a safety net for the people that come after me. It's an investment. Because you guys invested in me and the taxes that you pay, I am now here able to give back to my community. It's an investment. And I'm asking you, I know it's hard. Taxes are not an easy thing. They're difficult. They bring a lot of controversy. They bring a lot of people in the room. And Karen and I have to stand here. We're pretty nervous. <laughs> but um, it's an investment into the city, into the services. And you know, the money that he's talking about, my time, I'm running this campaign. My time is precious. I would not have worked on this campaign if the city hadn't done the pre-work with the consultants that Secretary is very familiar with. Because when I ran the parcel tax campaign, he wanted to make sure that he had the information for the consultants first before he gave me the okay to move ahead. So he's very familiar with why this money was spent. It's a $50,000 investment and a $9 million return. I think that's a very good way to spend the money. You want to make sure that all the time and effort of all the volunteers that are going to work on this campaign is put to good use. Why move forward with something if you're not confident that we have a chance on winning? And that's what that money was for. And it's been done by the Jefferson Union High School District, by the Pacifica School District, which Mike can attest to, and it was done now. We want to make sure that if we're moving forward, it's done in a way where we are guaranteed a good chance of success. The last thing I just want to say is that Pacifica, you know, we are a, about 30, 40,000 people. And your budget and your reserve is lower than the Pacifica School Districts and the Jefferson Union High School Districts. I am a board member of the Jefferson Union High School District. We have 7,000 <coughs> students. We're open nine months a year, 10 hours a day, and our budget and our reserve is bigger than the city of Pacifica. That is a fiscal emergency to me. That's insane. So, I mean, we're re I'm very happy that you're here. We're open to asking and answering any questions, and thank you so much.